Hey everyone, today I decided to make a video about my pro player settings. Settings are very important to every video game that people play and every small edge can give you an advantage. So today I want to break down to you why I think people should use certain settings and why they're good. And I just see no other pro player doing something like this. So I'm just gonna make it quick. So for hotkeys, pretty much I use everything quick cast. Quick cast is just way better than normal cast. It's faster. I mean, you can get used to ranges. Obviously, for beginner, normal cast is fine. Um, but the only thing I really do, especially, is I use Trinket on 4. A lot of people do it on T. I personally prefer 4. And then T, I use something else, which I'm going to explain later. So, in case I want a normal cast and ability, the way I do it is I just bind into Shift. So, if I hold Shift and then Q, I can still normal cast and ability to see the range. This is how, if I really have a champion that I want a normal cast and ability on, then I do it this way. Other than that, everything is quick cast. This is all default, nothing really to say. So this is the one that I use. So target champions, this is very important when you're tower diving, right, champions. So I use T, so I do it on hold. I don't do it on toggle. Um, I, tried, I tried doing it on toggle and it just feels... There's so many cases where it just killed me. Also, before I continue, I use three fingers on QWE, not four. Uh, I'm not sure if 4 or 3 is like better or anything, I haven't done research into that, but I've always played with 3. So pink is on shift and then thumb is on spacebar. Everything else should be default. We have items. Items I do the same, so if I just quickly buy a trinket, items the is the same. So the reason why, so everything is quick cast, right? 4, quick cast. But if I ho uh, shift 4, then it's um, not quick cast. So this is very important. For example, um, a lot of people already know this, but if you go close to the bush, the, your cursor turns green instead of blue. Blue means it's not going to be in the bush. Green means it's going to be in the bush or yellow, whatever. So this ward is super important, right? Because you have to place it in the bush so people, when they walk right here, for example, they A get spotted, right? So they don't, don't gank you from this right. angle. This is just one of many wards that this is why um, maybe here, normal casting is better than quick casting. Um, other than that, this is all default or off, whatever. Player movement, this is important. So I have normal click, player move click, and then player attack move click, I use X. So this is um, one of the ways I can attack things. So X just like basically attacks the closest target without like, X is basically without having to click with the left click on top of it. It's just you press one, one key button, I use X for that. And then this one, A, player attack move. Um, just default, everyone has it, right? This is very important. Attack move is good in this game. And then player stop position S, I think this is default, but S is super important if you use... I'll explain it later why. But S is very important. I think everyone should be using S to stop their champion. Now here, everything is pretty much default besides this one. So select self, I remove that and I put F1, F2, F3 and F4 for my F keys. So this way I don't have an F5, which is awkward on the keyboard. Um, and then, so they're all in a line in a row. Uh, this is all default. Display, just all default. Communication. This is where I change it a little bit. So alert pink, I have G, and retreat pink, I have H. It's my personal preference. And area is warded pink, which I think is, can be quite important for pinging your jungler. I have it on mouse button, because uh, I don't really use mouse buttons uh, a lot. And then I have another mouse button, it's just a mode wheel. Um, this is my way of emoting. I don't want to have a mode wheel and some keyboard uh, key that I need to use. Menu, all default. Item shop, all default. Practice tool, all default. Point out attack move to left click, default. Video settings, very important. I get asked a lot about this, okay? The reason why I play everything on very low is because number one, I like it. And number two, all the games that I played with in my life, usually low video settings do offer you an advantage. Now in this game, it's not as noticeable as in other games, especially in like shooter games. Most people use low settings in shooter games. Everyone knows that. Um, but yeah, I've always played with low settings. It's not because of FPS. I do not care about FPS. I have enough FPS with my computer. It's because I prefer playing video games like this. I can be on, colorblind mode off. It's personal preference resolution borderless mode because I'm streaming, I also would use full screen. Full screen is really good because it teaches you the habit of not alt-tabbing, so you're not randomly, you know, on YouTube while you're playing the game. Screen shake, don't need that, very low, everything, off, off, off. Um, and then the color settings, I get asked all the time about this on the stream. First of all, this is dependent on your monitor. Like, you're not gonna have the same monitor as me, and I change this every time I get a new monitor. I travel, countries, I, change setups because I'm, I'm not I use a low budget setup so 
this is gonna look different on my screen than it's gonna be on your. Now just use yours, personal preference. Um, sound, so what I do on sound is I use everything on 50, besides voice volume, which I like a lot, so I put that on 100. I disable music and ambience, and then I just adjust, adjust the master volume with this little thingy here, uh, the main, um, whatever this is called, the main slider. And theme music, I use classic, I don't like the new one, whatever. Interface. So a lot of people say that hot scale should always be on zero. I disagree. Hot scale should not be to the maximum unless you're a new player, because then like you can see the spice is here. But I recommend hot scale, yes, somewhere on the lower end, somewhere below 50 is what I would recommend because you don't need it as big to see the spice. But like having it on zero, that makes it very hard to see. Sometimes you do need to look at your heart, okay? So don't listen to some stupid idiot telling you to put hot scale on zero. It's not the case. Cursor scale, all your preference. Um, I thought the hitbox of the cursor would get changed if you put it smaller or bigger, but I tested it in practice, so it's actually not the case. The hitbox is always be, um, the same. So I, so I personally I think something fly. in the middle is the best. I tried everything so far. Something uh, 50, 60, 70 is what I like the most. Um, just like having small cursor, you don't like, it's not like it's blocking your vision and you don't need it that small. It's easier to spot it when it's bigger, in my opinion. Shop scale, I don't know why it's 47. I guess it's just that way, I'm gonna keep it that way. Um, so I shop fast. Chat scale, no idea, random number again. I just like it that way. I, I don't like chat scale being to the lowest because then I can't see the chat. I also don't like being it on the highest because then it's way too big. Minimap scale, so this used to be 100 on default, but then Riot made it so you can actually make your minimap super big um, before you could only do it from your folder settings. So, um, a minimum scale, I think 33 now is the 100 in the past default. So 33 is just like the normal 100 that it was in the past, basically. That, scap, uh, that recap scale, honestly, I should just put it on zero. The shit is useless. I don't know why it's even in the game. Practice tool, uh, zero, because it, it's already in zero. It feels super big already to me. Um, then these things are all pretty much preference. Like, for example, enable HUD animations. I have that off because it just looks cool. But honestly, I don't like look cool looking things. Um, screen flash damage, I think, I, the reason why I have this on is because sometimes you're like watching the other map and then someone hits you and like the screen flashes a little bit, so you know this you immediately space bar back to you. Um, champion highlight on camera, personally hate it. Screen flash loss on control. I think that one's too much, if I, my memory serves correctly. I use the glove, I don't use the new cursor, obviously, your preference. Always show extended tooltip info. Um, honestly, I might as well have this, both of these off, useless as hell. Um, these are pretty much all default. Show attack range is what I only change. So this is when you A click and it shows you attack range. This is all just your personal preference. I play with it off sometimes. I play with it on sometimes. It's just how I feel. Minute seconds, you should just choose whatever you like to see. Show neutral camps. This all should be like on. Show me one left if you want to. I don't, I don't use that. Show summoner names. So this is show number, summoner names in the tab. I don't mind seeing summoner names on the tab, but I think in game they should be off. Uh, there's just no reason to for you to have display a text of the enemy summoner's name. You shouldn't read that. Your brain shouldn't be processing information that's useless. Speaking of processing information that is useless, it is uh, all chat. All chat should just be off. Anything that the opponent says is not going to help you win the game. Unless they open, which you don't even care. You're going to see it eventually anyway. So it should just be off. It's actually just using resources in your brain to read something for no reason because it's not going to help you. Um, show timestamps, this is only, uh, this is good because, you know, you can time summoners better. Mute enemy modes if you want to use that. I have everything on here. Honestly, the experience on is the only one that I think could be toggled off. I think everything else is just fine to have it on. And then for game, 50 default mouse speed, use 2000 DPI and 6 out of 11 windows with no mouse acceleration for those that are wondering. 65 in-game mouse. So I used to play with 50, then I went from 50 to 60, then I'm going up, so I'm slowly going up and up and up. I'm never gonna reach a point where it's like super fast, but um, I feel like going anywhere from like 60 to 65 uh, is the best so far from what I found with years of playing. Um, Cause like some people, I know they play on like 50, and it takes them forever to get to somewhere and they're so slow cause of it. I know it's hard for people to change. What I would recommend is going up by one every single day until you get used to it. Enable smooth camera, please have this disabled. Smooth camera is not good. You should just have that off. Camera mode, 
A lot of new players have per side offset. Now, what per side offset does is, you see, it's not in the middle. Your champion is not in the middle. It's actually more to the side of which base you're from or something. So, because I'm blue side, if the champion is more on the left side, I'm pretty sure. And then if I would be right side, I think it would be more on the right side. I think, uh, I mean, fixed offset is what people, um, when League came out, it was the default one and all other options weren't available. It just makes life. sense for your champion to be in the middle when you lock camera, so you see everything clearly. I highly recommend people to use fixed offset. Auto attack on. So I think if you use ASCII very well, like me, stopping your champion, then I think auto attack being on is better than auto attack being off. Um, there's a lot of scenarios where like, for example, you should be watching like other side of the map and then your champion keeps auto attacking, which is good for like speed pushing. And there's like more scenarios like this. So I would recommend you having on for turret range indicators. You should have it off so you get used to turret ranges. Um, use movement prediction. I know, very highly discussed option, but let me tell you something, it doesn't matter. Use whatever you want to use, don't copy it because someone else uses it. Um, it's literally the least important setting out of all of them. You should care more, way more about other settings. Attack move on cursor. So if you have, a, if you don't have it on, then attack Only move the is going to go off your champion. Shot. So like even if, if I'm attack moving like here, it's going to attack this one, right? But if I would be, if I have this off, um, and then I attack move like here, it's gonna hit the closest champion to my champion. So I personally obviously like to be precise and use my cursor to control things. So I have like having it on and then treat target champions only as a toggle. This is where you, you, you make it so your target champions, uh, target champions only is either toggle or hold. And I already just said earlier that I prefer it off. Now, these are all the settings. Now, please, disclaimer, everybody. This is very important. Use your own settings. No, you're never gonna be as good as me. You won't. It's just plain and simple. Yeah, some, some settings are good to copy, for sure. Um, even when I play other games, I always look at what other pro players are doing because settings are very important. Very important to optimize them so you get just a slight advantage in the game because it can actually mean the difference between winning and losing. But yeah, always use your personal Pref uh, settings, test everything out, and don't just go and you know copy paste everything because first of all, it's not gonna make you better most likely, and second of all, you're never gonna be as good as me. I hope this helps. I try to be as short as possible while also being informative. Thank you all for watching.